guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I was inspired by Charlie from Charlie Brook and Emily from Novel Novels who recently went to a um, car boot sale and I'll link both of their car boot sale haul videos down below. But I was going to do like a small haul, I thought to myself, I've only bought a few books from the charity shop and I thought I wanted to talk about them because I haven't done a haul video in a while. And then when I counted up I realised I had 25 books. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I feel like this could be a longer haul than I initially anticipated. So yes, let's get started and see what books I've picked up recently. So the first two books I'm not 100% sure if I've already hauled, so I'm just going to mention them very briefly because, like I said, I might have previously mentioned them. The first one is The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. This was the last one of the kind of... Um, I think there's like three shorter books in between, or in my eyes, in between the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices series. Um, this one, The Bane Chronicles and the um, Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. Um, this was the last one that I didn't have yet, so I decided to buy this one. This is actually the next one I want to read from the series, um, and then I'll go on to the Infernal Devices series. So yes, this is quite an exciting read for me. The other book that I'm not 100% sure if I've already hauled before is Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. This I bought because I had just read Rebecca, uh, I think in March? with a load of people on Twitter and I loved it so I thought I'm going to get another one and I saw this in the charity shop and I was like I feel like I can't not pick this up so I don't know too much else about what this actually is about but I know that Daphne du Maurier wrote it and I loved her writing so hopefully I will really enjoy this one as well. Next up is a book I know I've talked about before um, in my one of my other videos I think it was the try a chapter tag uh, but I wanted to mention it because I haven't hauled it yet. This was a book that I received um, from book publicity services um, on behalf of the author um, and this is Thomas Wilders and the Book of Sorrows by J.M. Bergen. This is a middle grade book about um, magic and reading and books and things and I'm really excited to read it. I did read the first chapter in that video and I really enjoyed it so it gives me that sort of Percy Jackson vibes. It's a beautiful beautiful cover and I'm really excited to um, get to this one and yeah thank you very much to them for sending it to me. Next up is a book that I bought because of the author. This one is Indelible by Karen Slaughter. I read Pretty Girls in the month of I believe April and I loved it so I'm trying to sort of pick up her books. I keep finding them in charity shops so I'm really excited about it. I have no idea if this is part of a series or if this is a standalone uh, but what I can tell you is that I'm really excited to get to it. <laughs> Next up is a book that I've heard a lot about on booktube but I haven't actually ever read myself so I picked it up in the charity shop again. This one is The Girls by Emma Klein which I believe um, has something to do with the, is it the Manson murders? Um, I think it's to do with one of the girls in the cult and I'm not 100% sure. I believe there's murder in it and that sort of thing because obviously that's what happened with the Manson murders. I don't know too much else about this but I have heard quite good things so yeah I'm looking forward to getting to this. I don't love this cover if I'm honest. I've seen another cover that I much prefer uh, but you know I'm gonna give this one a go and let you know what I think. The next up is a book that I was given, um, I, is one of two books actually, there's another one in this hall somewhere else, um, that I was given by my good friend Ali from work. She um, likes to read non-fiction books and she gives them to me when she's read them and this one sounds really exciting. So this one is My Life in His Paws, The Story of Ted and How He Saved Me by Wendy Hilling. So this is a true story uh, about a woman who suffers from epidermolysis bullosa recessive dystrophic um, which I believe causes her skin to tear and blister at the slightest knock and Ted is a golden retriever who is an assistance dog and I think it's about that. I'm really excited to read this one, I love reading books about dogs, they're really cute. So yeah, looking forward to this, should be a good book and thank you very much to Ali for giving this to me. Next up is a book, again I bought because of the author, this one is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This um, is, Neil Gaiman is the author of the Graveyard book which I read sometime, I think it was this year and I really really enjoyed that book. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to get his other one which I've heard also good things about again I don't know too much about this I know it is a I believe middle grade story um, I have no ideas other than that what it's about because um, I feel like people are quite vague when they talk about the synopsis so I'm guessing that it's got something to do with kind of something a bit sort of spoilery otherwise um, but yeah I'm looking forward to this one because I did enjoy the graveyard book Next up is a thriller. I've been picking up thrillers that I don't really know or have never heard of uh, when I see them just because they sound good. So this one is Her Name Was Rose by Claire Allen. Uh, this says um, it's about a woman named Emily who lets a stranger step out in front of her 
and then she watches the, a car plow into her killing her and then she can't um, and then I think Emily tries to fill the space that um, Rose left behind so it says, uh, Rose's husband misses his wife and their son needs a mother. Why couldn't Emily fill the space? So it sounds a little bit creepy. <laughs> uh, but it does say, um, Claire Douglas has blurbed it and says that she loved the ending. So I'm hoping this is quite a good one. Again, I've not actually heard anybody talking about this one, but I found it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go and see what I think. Next up is another book that I was sent by Book Publicity Services. Um, and this one also sounds really interesting to me. Um, this one is Radioactive Evolution by Richard Hummel and it's published by Hummel Books. So I'm guessing it's actually self-published. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, this follows um, a dystopian world and I believe it has dragons in it. Sounds really interesting. Not something that I have read much of. So I feel like it could be quite an exciting read. Um, it's also really big writing. It's like a floppy paperback which I love and yeah I love being happy this is now the second book that I've been sent and I could not be more honoured and yeah looking forward to get to this one as well and then I have another Karen Slaughter book which I found and this one is Fractured by Karen Slaughter this one um I think is the second book in the Will Trent series um I don't know too much else about it other than that um really looking forward to reading it though and I just need to buy number one now because I don't actually even know what it's called so we'll soon see I'm sure the next one is another thriller that I didn't really know anything about until I picked it up and that one is The Book of You by Claire Kendall. There's a lot of authors called Claire who write thriller books, I've noticed this. Um, this one is about a woman named Clarissa who is frightened of her colleague and then she gets selected for jury service and while um, having to listen in the courtroom she sees a lot of parallels between her life and the woman who I believe is on the witness stand and then I think it's about that and about what happens again sounds really interesting it sounds also quite terrifying um very much looking forward to this I also love a court book like about law and stuff so I'm assuming there'll be some parts of that in this as well so yeah really cool and I love this cover as well next up I have two books that um I saw Nicole from a beautiful chaos of books talking about she I know she loves this author um and it is MJ Arledge so I found Hide and Seek by MJ Arledge and Little Boy Blue I believe I believe these are both D.I. Helen Grace books I don't think either one of these is the first I think the first one is Eeny Meeny I actually don't know which books these are I think they're books five and six in the series so I would like to obviously get the other ones but I am really excited to read these ones because Nicole has really sort of praised this series. Next up from the um, car boot sale haul that um, Emily from Novel Novels did I saw that she had a copy of The Muse by Jessie Burton. I own The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton um, but I found The Muse in the shop today and I was really excited about it. Uh, I don't know what it's about it says, on a hot July day in 1967, Odell Bastion climbs the stone steps of the Skelton Gallery in London, ready for her luck to change. She has been employed as a typist by the glamorous and enigmatic Marjorie Quick, who unlocks a potential Odell didn't realise she had. When a lost masterpiece arrives at the gallery, Quick seems to know more than she is prepared to reveal, and Odell is determined to unravel the truth. The painting's secret history lies in 1936 and a large house in rural Spain, where Olive Schloss... Schloss? Schloss? I tried. The daughter of a renowned art dealer is harbouring ambitions of her own. Into this fragile paradise comes two strangers who overturn the Schloss family with explosive and devastating consequences. Sounds quite complex, sounds really interesting and hopefully I will read this with Charlie and Emily at some point soon because I'm excited for this one. Then I have the other book that my friend Ali from work gave me and that was Slave Girl by Sarah Forsyth. Again this is a true story about a girl who I believe has pretty horrendous childhood and then she trains to be a nursery nurse. She finds an advert for a job in a creche in Amsterdam and goes to Amsterdam to become to, for this job basically and when she gets there there is no job there is no creche. She then is a victim of sex trafficking and is forced at gunpoint to take cocaine and cannabis and to be a prostitute and I think it's about that. This obviously, um, like I said, is from Sarah Forsyth. I think it's also ghostwritten with by T Tim Tate. Try saying that five times fast. 
Um, but yeah, this sounds really interesting. It sounds like it could be quite a difficult read as well, but um, hopefully she has come out the other side. I would hope so, having written about it. But yeah, this one, thank you again to Ali for giving me this one because this one sounds really up my street. Next up, I have Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I was buying a birthday present for my mum and I needed like a little bit extra to get free delivery from Amazon and this book was £2, which I think is an absolute bargain. I own um, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I haven't read it yet, but I do own it. I love this cover. I think it's beautiful and I believe it's set in 1970s small town Ohio um, about a Chinese American family. Um, I don't know too much else. Oh, it's about Lydia is the favourite child and then they find her body in the lake and it's about that, I think. I believe this has a lot to do with race in this as well, so this could be really interesting and yeah, very much looking forward to reading this. Um, also, I think this is actually her debut novel, so yeah, as again, I'm looking forward to this. It sounds really exciting and really interesting and um, yeah, I can't wait to read it. Next up, we have a book that I thought was a standalone. It's actually the second book in a series, which is a little bit annoying, but anyway. This is Force of Nature by Jane Harper. This is the sequel to the dry um i've been wanting to read the dry actually so i'm not really that mad about the fact this is the second book so i just need to get that one really um this um again i don't know too much about because i believe that like, say this is the sequel um yeah so i am looking forward to reading this one but i can't do that until i read the first one <laughs> next up i have a quite a controversial book it's been on my um goodreads to read shelf for a really long time um and that is ugly love by colleen hoover i know that colleen hoover there's been a lot of things said about her. I'm not sure I've never read one of her books, so this could be an interesting one. I also really don't like this cover. I've seen there's a blue cover of this, which I loved, but I'm not a fan of this one, unfortunately. But that's the one that I found and bought. Um, this follows um, a woman named Tate Collins who finds an airline pilot, Miles Archer, passed out in front of her apartment door. Uh, they don't even like each other, I think, um, but they have an attraction. Will she be able to say no to her sexy pilot when he lives just next door? I have no idea. Like I said, I've heard that she's quite a controversial author. Quite, uh, yeah, interesting. So I'm looking forward to finding out what I think about her books. Oh, well, this book at least. Next up, we've all been talking, well, I've been talking a lot. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about the fact that I finally finished the Mortal Instruments series. Um, and so I decided to pick up the first book in the next series of hers, which is The Infernal Devices. This one is Clockwork Angel. I think it's a trilogy, this series. So yes, this is the next one to read. I think it follows Tessa Gray, who um, I believe was in the end of the other series. So interesting yeah looking forward to giving this one a go like i said i really like sandra claire's writing personally i think this has got like magnus in it from the rest of them i'm not 100 percent sure um so yeah looking forward to seeing how this sort of connects to the world of the shadow hunters then i have another thriller that i picked up um without really knowing too much about it this is the ice twins by sk tremaine i feel like i've heard someone talking about this but i don't know who it was this one says um after one of their identical twin daughters lydia another lydia that dies strange dies in an accident angus and sarah moorcroft move to a remote scottish island hoping to mend their shattered lives but when their surviving child kirsty claims they have mistaken her identity that she in fact is lydia their world comes crashing back down they know one of their daughters died but can they be sure which one that sounds phenomenal it sounds really really interesting and yes this could be a particularly fun one i think this is really interesting in that like a lot of the time people use the trope of like it was the twin uh, whereas this sort of sets it out as twins and then you have to go from there so that sounds really really fascinating to me i then have a book that i've heard ashley from a frolic through fiction talking about a lot i know that she loves 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 this author um and that is the bone season by samantha shannon this book is actually massive um i don't actually know anything about it uh, i think it, all i know is that it's set in the year 2059 so it's like a futuristic book I guess I don't know anything else about it other than that Ashley has a lot of high praise for this and yeah I think this is a fantasy story so yes definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone but I'm actually quite excited to give it a shot Next up is a book that my lovely friend Charlie from Charlie Brooks sent me she's absolutely wonderful I love her she saw this in a charity shop and was like do you want this book because it's in brilliant condition and it truly truly is this is 13 by Steve Kavanagh um, it's about the serial killer is on the jury I think I don't know too much else about it but as we know I love a kind of trial book like a court story and um, I think we're gonna buddy read this me and Charlie at some point so I'm really excited for that cannot wait to read it with her because 
I do love to buddy read with Charlie, she's amazing. Next up I have an interesting book, this one is The Innocent Man by John Grisham. I love John Grisham's writing, I've read a lot of his um, novels, but this one is a true story and there's actually a Netflix adaptation um, that they did and I've watched a little bit of it. I didn't really want to read too much because I knew, I didn't really want to watch too much of it because I knew that I wanted to read this first really. Um, this follows a man who um, gets tangled up in a murder charge um, and convicted and sent to death row um, and he was innocent I guess so I don't know kind of what happens or whatever but I know that John Gresham was really kind of he was he was in the TV show I think he was actually talking about it a lot so I, I would love to kind of read this because I think true crime is definitely one of my favorite things so yeah very much looking forward to giving this one a go and then the last two books are both Stephen King books the first one of which my dad bless him I saw it in Morrison's and we were talking about something else and then I went off and then he came home and he had it with him and he gave it to me as a little present which was lovely um, this is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King I know this is now become a movie and I've not actually ever read the book um, I am really looking forward to it because I haven't watched the movie that either because I don't want to watch it until I've read the book so yeah I'm quite looking forward to this one I don't know too much about it to be honest with you at all apart from it's got something to do with the pet cemetery strangely enough uh, yeah not not sure looking forward to reading it though and then the other one is a book that I bought myself uh, from Amazon it's massive and actually I didn't realize quite how massive it was it is The Stand by Stephen King. I know that Nicole is reading this on audiobook at the minute and maybe an audiobook is probably the good idea because this book is 1,350 pages long. <laughs> I've read um, It by Stephen King and that was massive so I feel like I could get through this one. I don't know that I'm going to read it soon. <laughs> uh, I believe this has got something to do with like the plague and the apocalypse or something. I'm not honestly sure. Uh, but I am really looking forward to reading it because I do love Stephen King's writing. So there you are guys, that is my book haul for the month of May. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know which one of these books you think I should read first because I have a lot of choices guys. I will see you next time. Bye bye!